Hey everybody, JB Tech here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to take off as well as take apart and clean your Wraith Prism cooler. So the first thing you're going to want to do is warm up your computer because sometimes these coolers have a tendency of taking the CPU with them when you take them off. This is just going to make sure that the thermal paste isn't totally solid. So with my computer flipped on the side, uh, you can see that there's a little lever here for uh, the retention arm, I believe, as well. There's another clip or retention arm on this side as well. So the next thing you're going to want to do is to disconnect all your cables. Uh, I have disconnected my main fan header as well as my USB to RGB. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move over to that lever and we're just going to slowly lift it up until we hear a click and then it should just pop. And then from there, it does take a fair bit of fidgeting with this uh, AM3, AM4 platform to get the clips off the bottom. There's only two, so I find once you get one off, it's just a little bit of fidgeting to try and just push over and pull off the other clip. But once you have that other clip pulled out, you should be able to pull the cooler right off. So after a fair bit of fidgeting, I was able to remove the cooler from the board. So for our next part, we're going to be taking off the fan. This could be a little blurry, so I'm just going to pause it here. Uh, there's going to be two little clips that's going to be holding our fan onto the heat sink. We can see that right here. So we are just going to be trying to lift up the plate and those clips just so we can slide the fan off of the heat sink. This is optional, but I just wanted to make sure I keep things straight. So I'm just going to put a piece of electrical tape so I can make sure that I keep the faceplate on the right way. So now probably the most difficult part is just going to be figuring out how to get this off. So I found you can stick a little flathead screwdriver under here, but I just prefer to stick my fingers. And if you lift very lightly and pull, it should just come off nicely like mine did. This was the first time I've taken mine apart, so it wasn't too difficult. And then for the other side, you can just reach under two, and then it should just pop fully off. And your, uh, your lever might just be hanging around there. So I took that out, and now you are able to just blow out your heat sink if you would like to as well as clean off your fan as well. So now we're just going to reassemble the cooler. Uh, mine wasn't really that dirty, so I just gave it an easy blowout. So we're just gonna put the clamp back in place. Uh, there's a little middle thing that it should sit in between. And the easiest way I found to do this, instead of like putting the fan on top and trying to push it down, is uh, just to put the fan on the bottom, honestly, and you hold your, uh, you, heard, you hold the clips in place on the cooler and then you push it down very lightly, make sure you get everything all lined up because you don't want to break a clip. So once you know everything is all lined up, you can very lightly start to push down and it should snap into place. It took me just a little bit longer because I didn't realize that I was trying to push the plastic piece of the fan uh, onto the clip. So do make sure that you have everything all lined up and it should just go perfectly. You'll see it snaps into place here. So once we've reassembled and cleaned our uh, CPU coolers, we can go through our normal process of mounting them back into our computer. If this video helped you out, uh, consider subscribing, leave a like. Uh, everything is appreciated. We will be uploading more tech videos and tutorials soon. Thanks for watching.